Good morning. Shalom. Shalom. Salama. Salama. This story comes from the uh, Christian Post. Carmen Lichardello asked for prayers as cancer returns. Quote, I can't quit. I still trust God. End of quote. Legendary gospel music entertainer Carmen Lichardello has declared that he won't stop fighting for his life and believes in total healing as he battles cancer for the second time. Lee Chardello was diagnosed with incurable myeloma cancer in 2013 and defied the odds after nine months of chemotherapy. But after six years in remission, it has returned. Doctors say the average rem remission was nine years. A year ago, January, the oncologist told me that my myeloma markers were spiking, meaning that in all this time, I had no signs of cancer and in complete remission. But now the test tells us 17% of the cancer is back. Nine years reduced to six years, he wrote on Facebook Sunday. He revealed that for the past five months, he has tried a few different cancer treatments, but they all failed. Since last July, I've been on the more advanced medicine and getting chemo shots in my stomach every Tuesday. That really hurts. They added a type of steroid which bloats you up. So I immediately gained 20 pounds of water weight I couldn't get rid of. Ugh. Now this week, I'm back in Little Rock after faithfully following this regimen for seven months to see if this new approach has worked, he continued. The singer slash actor went in for a bone biopsy on Tuesday where doctors drilled a hole in his hip to extract a piece of the bone to see if there was any sign of cancer. Please pray because I can't quit. I can't stop fighting and I still trust God to have his perfect will done in the end. But I can't do it without your prayers and support. Lee Chardello employed. Lee Chardello's birthday is January 19 and said he really wants to be cancer free for his birthday. He first shared that he had been diagnosed with myeloma cancer and given only three to four years to live on February 14, 2013. Fortunately, Lee Chardello survived cancer and by early 2014, he testified that his medical tests indicated that he was cancer free. I remember back when, when I was in the, uh, Christianity religion I used to be a faithful listener of uh Carmen's albums um one of one of the best albums I like is the uh, album The Champion um and you know he's he's had some some great great music uh great tunes and stuff over the years uh brother Carmen we're going to be praying for you man but in the meantime, you know, check out our uh, check out our brother, uh, the minister of wellness, uh, Nathaniel Jordan. Uh, check out his uh, YouTube channel and his uh, Facebook channel as well. Because um, while you're going on this uh, chemotherapy treatment, um, you know, he might have some suggestions and some advice for you um, as far as uh, what to eat and what will be helpful and beneficial for you. Uh, while you're while you're going through this, I say we'll be praying for your healing and for a miraculous recovery. Uh, we love you, brother. And again, uh, please leave your comments and uh, like and share this video. Thank you for tuning in to this breaking news for the DK Foreman report. I am DK Foreman, and with that, I'm gonna say shalom, salama, salama, and shalom.